One. Today is my first official YouTube video. Um, all the other ones I have on here are from TikTok. So today I'm going to make a video from start to finish of how to make Mississippi pot roast in my Instant Pot. And this is all thanks to my Aunt Sandy. She wanted me to do a video where she can see it from start to finish instead of just, you know, 60 second clips. Um, real fast on TikTok, so hope you guys enjoy. So here is a picture of uh, the ingredients that I used. So first you're gonna wanna turn on your saute feature on your Instant Pot. You want to add some uh, oil. I'm going to use some avocado oil. And when that gets hot, we're going to want to sear uh, both sides of the roast. I cut my roast into four sections. So already, yeah. <laughs> so while we're waiting for this to heat up, I'm gonna show you some of the ingredients that I'm gonna be putting in. I'm cheap, so I got this one. It's the ranch um, dressing seasoning. Then we also have the ajus gravy. I have one stick of butter. Yeah, it's real. I have a can of pepperoncinis. And I'm going to be adding some minced garlic and some vegetable broth because I don't have any beef broth. 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 So now it's starting to heat up. So let's add our first hunk of meat. Okay, that don't sound too hot. Maybe it'll get hotter. Ba -ba so now we're just gonna let it sear brown whatever the bud so I believe it's time to turn them over now and do the other side it's already been doing this for a couple of minutes now I just paused the video They could have gone a little bit longer, but this is my first time doing this in the Instant Pot, so. Well, they didn't sear like I wanted them to, but I guess that's good enough. So, you're going to want to remove them and set them aside. Next, I'm going to be adding these two small onions into the pot. Oops. Kind of deglazing it a bit. Then I'm going to be adding the minced garlic. I bought this cool little shot glass today for like 97 cents. Excuse my kids. Um, it's about two tablespoons. And you're gonna wanna saute it for a bit. Now I'm going to turn the saute feature off and then I'm going to add the meat back into the pot.
in next time we're going to bed, so... Now it's going to be time to add the seasonings. So I'm going to add about a cup of that vegetable broth. Next I'm going to add the ranch packet. And we're going to put it on top the roast. This is Angus beef, by the way. I know that it sounds. Then we're going to add the uh, juice gravy packet. Put it all on the top. Then I'm going to add, it's about three-fourths of a cup of pepperoni, the juice from that. And then we're going to add these. I'm going to take off the stems. I honestly don't know how many to put because I have never made this before. Oops. <laughs> And this is my first time. So, somebody said that they use a full jar. Um, but I honestly don't know. Now I'm going to add the butter. I think I'm going to put about maybe six tablespoons of butter on here. Okay, I went ahead and added the whole uh, stick of butter. I think I'm going to add a couple more of these. People say it's like really good, so let's see how it works out. Okay, now we're ready. Put the lid on. Put it to ceiling. And we're going to do manual for about an hour. And I'll come back when it's done. Okay, since I'm waiting for the pot roast to cook. I thought I would make some rice in my instant zest rice and grain cooker. Here we go. So I'm going to add two cups of washed rice, white rice. Then I'm going to use the leftover vegetable broth. So I have two cups here that I'm going to add. and a half cup. Mm. Okay, so it wasn't 20 years later. It was about 20 minutes later. Okay, now it's done. Let's see how our rice turned out. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious oh my goodness look at that and that my friends is how you make rice in the rice cooker voila okay now it's done it's been an hour and now we're going to quick release it
This takes a while, by the way. Well, but while it's still doing that, I'm mixing um, a teaspoon and a half of cornstarch in the thing so I can thicken up the juice when um, we get all the meat out of there. This is literally taking forever. Oh, oh, I think it's almost done. We hear it, we hear it, we hear it. I'm taking this out. I'm going to put it back on the saute feature. And we're going to add the quince torch in there. And hopefully it thickens it up. Just stir it up. And let it simmer for a little while. While that's simmering, I am going to cut up my meat. Okay, so I sliced up all the parts. And I'm going to turn this off because this looks nice and thick. And it's ready. We are going to put it over the rice we made earlier. Okay, so we're going to put some rice. How much do you want? This good. That's good? Yeah. Okay, some meat. How much meat do you want? Just like that? So it was very yeah, good. It was my first time making a Mississippi pot roast, um, especially pot roast in the instant pot, and it came out very good. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, I can do more videos soon in the future. Thanks for watching.